Hey friends, so today we are going to take a look at those three USB-A to USB-C cables and I'm going to test them with this A to C cable queue and explain to you why one of them can only charge my headphones while the other one is made to connect to my external hard drive and transmit a lot of data really quickly. So first let's start with this one that came with the headphones. It is a really cheap one and you can feel that the cable itself is really thin. If we connect it to this ATC cable queue, we can immediately see that only three LEDs are lit up. If we take a closer look at it, we can see that the supply voltage and the ground is connected, which means that on this side it's basically just a power source. On the USB-C side there is the DFB, the power source connected, which means that on this side it's considered a downstream facing port and the connect di devices connected to this end are going to be charged only. No data is connected either for USB 2.0 or for USB 3.1 and also the cable is so cheap that they didn't even connect the shield through. The second cable we're going to take a look at is the first one we can actually transmit data with. So. If you take a look at this cable, I got it at some point for charging my phone. It was reasonably cheap and the material is already a bit thicker. But if we connect it to the unit, we can see that two more LEDs are lit. It's the D plus and D minus. This means that this is a USB 2.0 cable and because the DFP is also lit, means that it's for charging your device too. If I flip the USB-C connector on this right hand side, 180 degrees, you can see that now the right hand LED is lit up. This means that this is a normal DFP device and can be used in both configurations, like this and like this. The third cable and the most interesting one is the one that came with my external hard drive. This one already feels really bulky and you can see that it's a bit of a higher end cable. The blue connector on the USB-A side also tells us that this should be a 3.0 or 3.1 connector and the cable should be ready to transmit quite a lot of data quite quickly. If we connect it to the unit, we can see that all the LEDs are lit. This means that all the USB 3.1 LEDs are lit, so it's not broken, it's still perfectly working. The USB 2.0 LEDs are lit, this means that it can also be used with USB 2.0. The shield is connected, so it should work up to quite some higher transmission rates. And it advertises itself as a DFP, as a downstream facing port power source. So you can also char charge your phone with it or connect your external hard drive and it will just get power. So if you have any questions, just let me know and put them in the comments.